Around the country, you will see many signs like these where I live in Weston, hinting with old railway infrastructure. So I thought I would look back in time to the 1960s and reflect on the changes to the area now covered by the South Leicestershire Parliamentary constituency, which I hope to represent in the forthcoming general election for the Green Party. In 1961, the population according to the UK Census of South Leicestershire was around 40,000 people. The population of the UK at the time was around 55 million. By the 2021 census, the UK population had grown by 27%, or just over a quarter, to 67 million, whilst the population of South Leicestershire had grown by one and a half times to 100,000 people. The railway infrastructure in Leicestershire at the start of the 1960s consisted of four railway lines and 12 stations including the Great Central Railway, which offered fast express services between Sheffield and London, with stations in Weston, Ashby Parva and Lutworth. We also had a fifth railway line and a second main line to London, just outside the constitutional boundary between Fleckley and Great Glen, served by what is today the Midland Main Line. Unfortunately, by the end of the 1960s, all of the stations in the constituency and the station in Great Glen had closed. A campaign by local residents managed to reopen the station in Narborough in 1970. This remains the only railway station in the South Leicestershire constituency even today in 2024. Some may have seen the headlines in the local press in March 2021, stating the intention to open a railway connection from Rugby to Lutworth and beyond to, st to stations at Broughton Astley and Cosby connecting with the Leicester to Birmingham line near Narborough. Seeing the recent announcements by the government about £238 million from the cancellation of HS2 being allocated to Leicestershire, I wondered how far this scheme had progressed. So after a little searching on the internet, I discovered that somehow, despite having the backing of our current MP, it appeared that the scheme had not got the backing of the Conservative-controlled Leicestershire County Council as an article in 2021, three months after the original article, stated that they were not supportive of this venture. The news, unfortunately, doesn't get any better, as the company formed to develop the rail link reported in their 2023 accounts, that the company is inactive due to the political climate being unfavourable to rail. So in February 2024, an allocation of £238 million was announced for Leicestershire, supposedly from the cancellation of HS2. But on the 7th of March, Leicestershire Highways and Transport Overview and Scrutiny Committee, to quote one of their senior officers, there was a clear indication that you could not put some of the 238 million into building railway lines. So what should be done? In the short term, I'd like to see more of these disused railway lines opened as foot and cycle paths to connect towns and villages including Broughton Astley and to Lutworth and on to Rugby. I would also like to look into the reopening of Flavour Railway Station. The same office at the highways meeting did say that railway stations could receive some of the 238 million. With the introduction of quicker accelerating and breaking of battery electric trains this may solve one of the issues that you understand prevented this from being progressed before. In the medium term, I would like to look into again providing a light rail or tram line along some of these routes and linking it with an improved reliable bus service. We also need to look into solutions to get the other villages big and small. This I intend to look cover in a future video. Thanks for watching. Please email me with any thoughts to mike.jelfs at votegreen.uk.